How's it going viewers, it is Waterford WX here with a special kind of video here on my channel. In this video, I will be giving an easy, step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make your own SPC, Storm Prediction Center, convective outlooks for your EAS markup and scenarios. In the description, I will provide the resources needed as well as the paint.net program, that is free to download. Without further ado, let's get into the video. First things first, you will need to download the paint.net program. The link to download this will be in my resources website in the description below. Follow the instructions as shown. Next, you will need to find a blank map template to make your custom outlook. I have provided the best one in my website resources. Once you visit the website, left click to save the image to your computer. Once you have completed the paint.net program setup, and you have saved the SPC blank map image, it is time to get to the fun part. Once you open paint.net, insert the blank map image you saved. For 100% accuracy, you will need the exact hex color codes, to make your risk outlines, fill in areas etc. I have provided the hex codes on my resources site, but you can also use another method, that may be easier once you get the hang of creating these custom outlooks. This other method involves the use of the color picker tool in paint.net, in which you use the tool, to take the correct colors from real convective outlook issued by the SPC. I will provide a quick rundown on how it works, if you wish to use this method. If you prefer to use the hex codes, provided on my website, go ahead and skip this part of the video, and go to step 5. To do this, go to my website, and save the high convective risk from January 22nd, 2017. This real-time outlook includes all of the different accurate colors of the outlines, fill-ins, state lines, and water boundaries. Since you can have several images open at a time on paint.net, you can use the tool, to easily go back and forth between the real outlook and the template you will be using to make your very own custom outlook. Using this tool, you can click on the correct color you need for whichever step you are on for making your custom outlook. For example, if you are making the slight risk outline, you will use the tool, to click on the outline of the slight risk on the real SPC outlook to grab the exact color, to use to make your slight risk outline. This works for the all of the areas, water zones, and the state border lines. You may want to use this method once you get the hang of making these fictional outlooks. Now that you have the correct hex color codes, you can now start creating your very own custom SPC convective outlook. For the first step, you will have to make the outlines for the risk areas. Before doing so, I would recommend zooming in from the 300 to 600% range, by using the sliders in the bottom right corner, as it will be easier to create your outlook. To open the tools and colors drop boxes, press the F, 5 and F, 8, shortcuts. Once you decide which risk you would like to create, go to my website and copy the correct hex code from the risk outlines section. So for example, if you are making an enhanced convective risk, you will highlight and left click, to copy the FF7F00 hex code, and then paste it into the hex in the colors drop box. Then, use the line tool, to construct your enhanced risk area. Be sure to use the settings as shown on screen. With every outline for each risk, you will also need to create the arrows that usually lie somewhere on the outline. To do this, while you are constructing one of the individual lines for the outline areas, select the arrow style on either the start or end cap for the line style near the top left corner. Be sure to switch it back to normal, when you construct the next lines. You'll want to do this with every total area outline you make.
Then when you make the slight, marginal, and general thunderstorm outline areas, repeat the same steps as with what I demonstrated with the enhanced. After you have finished making the outlines, the next thing you'll need to do, is fill in the areas you made. The hex codes filling in the risk areas are also on my website in the second column of the hex codes section. Before you start filling in the corresponding risk areas using the paint bucket tool, make sure your tolerance is set at 20% with alias rendering. Once you have those settings, start filling in the areas covered by land only. Now it is time to fill in the areas covered by the waters, aka the Great Lakes and the oceans. This step uses the same process and tools as the previous step. All you have to do, is find the hex color codes for the water areas on my website, and then fill in the corresponding risk areas. For this tutorial, I provided a blank map template, that includes the boundaries of the water forecast zones served by US National Weather Service offices. This makes it easier and more convenient to do this step accurately. Now for the final step of the coloring process, time for the state border lines. It is recommended to use the paint bucket tool for this step. Head over to the website, to find the hex codes for the state lines, then fill them in for the corresponding risks as shown. For step 9, this is the most complex step of the entire tutorial, so I will try to explain this as best as possible. This step involves making the labels for the risks. To make this step easier for you guys, I also provided a reference template of all of the risk labels, that you will need to also save to your computer. This step involves the use of the rectangle select tool. Once you save this image template from my website, insert the image into paint.net. To label the enhanced risk, click on the label reference image, then use the rectangle select tool, to highlight the enhanced risk label as shown. Once it's highlighted, click the copy button at the top, left corner of the screen, then click back on your custom outlook and click the paste button also located at the top left corner, then move it into an open enough space in your enhanced risk area. Then, simply fill in the white spaces with the enhanced risk area orange color. Now here is the hard part, you'll likely run into this issue with some of the outlooks you made. When you go to paste the label, there isn't any open room in the risk area, where it doesn't overlap state border lines and or any other risk area outlines. This is one of the reasons why sometimes, real SPC convective outlooks have their labels overlapping state border lines and or other risk area outlines. If a label overlaps another outline for a risk, then some of the outline is removed, so that the label is completely visible, so it does not blend in with the outlines as it is the same color. It is pretty tough, to explain how to work past this, but I will try my best as possible in these examples. In this example let's say, that I need to put the slight risk label over the slight risk carry outline, because of a tight space. First, I would erase some of the outline as shown, to make enough space. Then, I paste the label as I normally would, and then fill in the blank spots in the pasted rectangle box. As you can see here, it does not overlap anything. However, let's say in this case, that the area, that you want to paste the label into, has a very tight space that, even when you get rid of some of the outline, when you paste the label, it overlaps some of the marginal risk area. 
This is where you will need to use the line tool, to retrace and refill in some of the slight risk area in the pasted rectangle box as accurately to your original area as possible. Here is how I do it. The final way you could do this step is to use the line tool, to draw the labels yourself. Although this method is somewhat complicated, takes time to learn, and is a bit time consuming, you won't have to deal with the previous problems mentioned, and you can overlap state border lines without having to do extra work. However, you would still need to erase some parts of the risk outlines to clear up space, but won't need to worry about anything else. You may have noticed that with the blank map template, that I provided at the start of the video, I included the water forecast area boundaries, which normal outlooks issued by the SBC do not show. So for the best accuracy, you may want to remove all of these black line boundaries that are remaining. This part is optional, but it is recommended. To do this, use the color picker tool and click on the light blue water area color, then use that color, to start removing the black boundary lines. You can do this with the paint bucket tool, but it is faster, by using the line tool, by doing this as shown.